Good morning, everyone. It is Saturday morning at 7.53. I am just packing my suitcase for my Sydney trip. I am so excited. I am going to be vlogging the whole trip. So I am just really, really excited. So this is me organizing my suitcase and everything. My suitcase is here. I just don't know what to pack. It is so cold in Sydney at the moment. So I just, I don't, I don't know what to take. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Um, I know that I am going to be bedridden for a couple of days. <laughs> I don't like, I don't know if I need to pack a few things. Like I'm going for over a week. So, um, yeah, like I'm going out for dinner on tomorrow night. We're going to Chin Chin, which I'm really cool, excited about. Really cool. Anyway, I'm really excited about that. Monday night, we'll probably just have dinner in. Um, same with Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday night, we might go out. Friday night, we might go out. Saturday night, I don't know. So I don't know what to pack. I don't know what to take. I don't, I can only take 23 kilos and with winter stuff, obviously it takes up a lot of room. So I'm going to wear boots with this long sleeve blazer dress thing. It's actually really cute. I have just washed my sheets too. So that's what that all is. Um, I'm one of those weird people that have to have clean sheets for when I get home. <laughs> so yeah, let's pack my bag. Out there on the moon, do you care for how I feel at all? Floating out in space, doing everything to miss my call. Try to fight the feeling But I'm caught up in your spell again Try to find some meaning Why you flying in and out my head It's a supernova night I can't get you off my mind No, I just can't seem to let you go <laughs> Mum chugging along <laughs> I'll take it so <laughs> um, the plane fight was okay. Good. Quick, was... good. Did you feel sick? No. <laughs> had my cup of tea. I had your cup of tea and your chomp. Um, we're just heading to Meryton now. Um, that's where we're staying tonight. And then we'll go, hopefully we can check in. And then we're going to go find something to eat for lunch. And shop do a bit of shopping <laughs> and then we are going out to dinner tonight at Chin Chin which I'm excited about never been there but should be nice are you keen for dinner yes yes Oh, we've got our two single beds. Cute. Oh, we've got harbour views. How nice. What's wrong? You are not wearing that. <laughs> Mum doesn't agree with my outfit tonight. No. My blazer dress. Need to wear something under it. With my boots. You're not going to a stripper club. <laughs> You're not a stripper. You haven't got the boobs. <laughs> not yet.
Good morning, guys. Mum and I are just on our way to get breakfast this morning um, over at Darling Harbour. And then we are going to my pre op appointment in at Double Bay, I'm pretty sure it is. So, huh? Yeah, we're just trying to find somewhere for breakfast. <laughs> You're back on solid ground Don't lose me now It's a supernova night I can't get you off my mind No, I just can't seem to let you go <laughs> Mum's not keen She hated the Uber The Uber was filthy <laughs> Filthy Pull you back arrived in our second apartment um, I went to my pre-op appointment this morning at one cosmetic and I got my little um, post-op kit so I'll show you guys what's in there so I got my compression bra I think it's white assuming by the color of that um, the ice packs for after, so I think there's two of them in there. Yep, so two ice packs. Um, my scar therapy gel, I think I can only use that like six weeks after my surgery. Um, what's this? Hmm. A little mask, hydrating mineral sheet mask. Um, and then just like my aftercare instructions as well, which I've already read through So now I'm just chilling back at the apartment. I've been doing some work on my computer as well um, and uh, Mum's just about to braid my hair for Tomorrow I got my surgery time. So Bright and early in the morning at 6 a.m. Which I'm actually happy about because I wake up so early. So I have to fast six hours prior. So I was a bit worried that if I was waking up at like 4.30, 5 o'clock, my surgery is at nine, I'd be like so hungry during that time. But surgery is at 6 a.m., which is really good. Um, so I should be out by, what to say, eight o'clock or something, but I'll have to stay there for a few hours until mum come and picks me up. And yeah, I'm keen. I'm excited. Feeling good. Get to it. Get to work. <laughs> okay. I've just put on my post-op bra. <laughs> and it is like so big. <laughs> like I don't even know if you can see that properly, but like. Hey, it's a little bit <laughs> cute. Well, this will definitely be looking different tomorrow. <laughs> Come, on. thanks, Mum. Good morning guys. Today is the day I'm getting my surgery. I'm actually really excited. Like I'm not nervous at all. I thought I would be really nervous, but I'm actually not. Um, I'm just, it's 5.30. Um, not that you can really see it. I'm just walking to the hospital now. It's literally like a five, 10 minute walk. Um, so I thought it'd just be so much easier to walk this morning 
um, I told mum to stay at the apartment because she doesn't need to be with me. <laughs> so yeah, I will let you guys know once I'm at the hospital and um, yeah, I'm just so excited. <laughs> I honestly thought I would be so nervous, but I'm not. So yeah, I'll be there soon. Okay, we're here. It says main entry. Send it over to the left. I'm so blind. <laughs> to the left we go. I found it. <laughs> now I have no idea where to go. filming on my phone just because my compute my um, camera is in my bag um, so I've got everything done pretty much I think I'm just waiting for the Aniva test now so I've got my core strap how cute is this girl <laughs> not um, my compression socks and yeah just just waiting so I'm so excited I'm literally not nervous at all not even in the slightest bit. I'm just really keen. I've just woken up. I'm still a bit drowsy. I've got a massive lump on my lip, which I don't know what's from. So here she is, straight out of surgery, feeling a bit like crap. <laughs> Can't have any pain relief yet because she hasn't eaten. She's got some lovely food here. <laughs> great commentary, Mum. Huh? Say great commentary. Yeah, that's all good. Lift your arm up and wave hello. <laughs> the cannula in my arm and it's sore. They hey. couldn't find my vein. Ah, oh, had a few goes, did they? No, she got it in straight away, but... How are you feeling, Yazzie D? Well, apart from the ulcer. She's got an ulcer on her lip. Um. She's got sticky stuff on her eyes. I think it's Vaso, to be honest. Vaseline? Mm -hmm. It's probably not, but... I just feel really tight. And she's got big boobies. Woo! <laughs> what did you just have then, Yazzie? <laughs> I just had some endone. And how are you feeling at the moment? I'm trying to relieve the pain. I feel fine. I just feel tight. <laughs> tight. Across my boobs, yeah. And like I can't move. Like my left arm is fine. But my right arm is like, oh. Where's the pain? Like the side. Under there. Just like the side of my boob and like the front. And how are your legs feeling? Oh yeah, I didn't even tell them. So I had to get fat grafting as well. Um, because my boobs were so small prior and the shape of my chest would have made my cleavage like sit really far apart with the implants so they had to do fat grafting take fat from like my inner thighs um and put it on like the inside and the upper part of my boob to give me a bit more cleavage but oh, my boob feels like rock hard <laughs> it's probably swollen a bit too mm, they feel so hard but they look good they look big. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mum just went and got my medication. 
This is as far as my arm can go. So I've got Alexia. I don't know what that is. I think that's the antibiotics. No, that's pain no. relief. Pain that's relief? The breakthrough pain relief. Got my feet. That's the antibiotics. Okay, that's the antibiotics. Cephalexin. Yep, I remember that because Laws had that when she had hers done. Diazepam. Yep, that's the Valium. This is the pain relief that you take once every eight hours. Um, Twice a day. Polexia. And the other one is just for breakthrough pain relief. Jesus, I'm stocked up to the Break max here. Twice a day. Well, this one's to stop the bleeding. Oh, they gosh. don't have internal bleeding. Okay. And? Oh, this is if the wafers for nausea. On Denestrum. Yep, I love these things. <laughs> this is paracetamol, that's going to help you through everything okay <laughs> geez there's a lot in there how many tablets a hundred okay that's all my meds she'll be sharing them with me oh no <laughs> just kidding okay i'm feeling a lot better now um my lip is still swollen it's so strange um and she had to put like this stuff on my eyes to make sure that my the eyelash glue didn't um, react to the tape that they put over your eyes. So yeah, I've got that on. But now we're just waiting for Dr. Wessels um, to come check on me and kind of give me the all clear to go home or back to the apartment. He's just in another surgery at the moment. So we're just kind of waiting for him, but I feel good. Just yeah, really tight and a lot of pressure on my chest but so I am back at my apartment now um, we left the hospital at around 2 o'clock I think it was 1 32 o'clock um, and my surgery was at 8 so I was there for a fair few hours um, just because we had to wait for Dr. Wessels to finish his next procedure um, just to give me the all clear to go home so yeah I've been back at the apartment for the afternoon I feel fine like I don't feel sore still um just very tight and a lot of pressure like I said before um nothing's really changed with that so yeah I've had some banana bread I've been drinking my Powerade um and just watching some Netflix so yeah mum's just gone to the shops to get some food for um dinner I think I'm just gonna have I didn't know what I felt like um, but I think I'm just gonna have baked beans on toast or something like that also my lip excuse me <laughs> that is so bad be prepared if you have lip filler and you're going to get surgery that that could happen especially eyelashes too um, but yeah mom's just got home Hello guys, we are on day one post surgery. Um, so I had surgery yesterday and I am feeling pretty much the same as yesterday. Like I'm still not in any pain. It's just really tight and a lot of pressure. Um, I got given some post surgery exercises to do just like deep breathing and um, like shoulder movements to kind of open up my chest and stuff. It kind of feels like um, DOMS. So if you've ever had like DOMS from training and stuff, it's kind of like DOMS in your chest. And like the more you move, the better it feels. Um, it's just like really tight muscles kind of thing. But yeah, I had a look at them this morning and they look really good. They're just so like just so hard literally like a rock I've got my ice packs in here again but you can kind of not really mum took my hair out just then so I'm looking like a bit of a mermaid yeah so we're supposed to be checking out of here tomorrow and going to the Kent Street Meriton in the city so then it's a bit closer to everything um 
but yeah, I just don't know if I'll be able to move that well tomorrow. Um, and this thing on this ulcer on my lip is still there. Um, apparently it should go down soon, so I'm hoping it'll go down. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you guys a little bit of an update. I won't be doing anything today. I'm literally just staying in here. So yeah. Good morning, guys. It is day two post surgery. I'm just cleaning my face. I've had my meds this morning. I've had breakfast. And yeah, I'm just, as you can tell, it is really hard to talk. Just the pressure. And like, because I had the fat grafting as well, my inner thighs are just so sensitive and sore. But I can obviously like move my arms and stuff. It just hurts to move them a bit. But I have to wear this around the compression bra to pull them in. But you can kind of see there's like a little bit of redness and bruising here. Um, and I think that's from the fat grafting, so. Yeah, I'm just getting ready and I have to work today, but I thought I'd check in and let you guys know how I'm going. All right, we are on day three post-op. Um, so my surgery was on Tuesday. It is now Friday. Um, I didn't film that much yesterday. I don't, I think I only filmed literally me talking yesterday morning um, because I didn't do much other than work and move into our third apartment. So I'm going to show you guys. We're at Meriton and Kent Street now, so in the city. So this is our view. Oops, that is really not great. So we've got like a big balcony. Um, that's the front door, kitchen, laundry is in there. Um, this is where I have been sitting pretty much since yesterday. I've been working on my computer here um, while watching TV. Also, so that's like the main, almost the main strip um, in Sydney. And then, yeah, I'll show you the bedrooms as well. It's just one bedroom, um, but yeah, kitchen. I've literally been in either my dressing gown or my long sleeve. Um, bathroom. It's not as nice as the first one we stayed at, but I still love Meriton facilities. And then this is the bed. So that's my bedroom, my bed, sorry. So yeah, I've literally just been in this. I've been wearing my compression bra and this strap. Um, and I have to wear tights as well because of the fat grafting that I had done. So I'm gonna go into more detail and explain everything. Um, I think once I'm feeling better and once I'm back home probably. Um, so yeah, as you can tell, it's really hard for me to still talk. My voice is really funny. Um, my hair is horrible. It needs to be washed, but standing up for long periods of time and walking just really drains me. So, yeah. Good morning, guys. We are on day, day four post-op. Is that right, Mum? Yeah. Day four post op, and I'm feeling better. I feel like each day it gets easier. Um, I can obviously move my arms and stuff a lot more today. Mum just blow dried my hair. I had to wash it this morning because it was just so dirty. Um, but I'm just gonna edit the vlog today so what you're watching I'll be editing um, and 
Taya is coming up. I think it's up. Um, and she's going to stay here the night down. Down. She lives in Newcastle. Um, yeah, so she's. we're going to go out for dinner tonight. Hopefully I'm fine to go out for dinner. Um, and yeah, she's going to stay here the night. And then mum leaves me tomorrow, which I'm a bit concerned about. Um, I don't know how I'm going to go without mum because she's literally been helping me every day. Um, this morning was like the first time I was able to get out of bed by myself. I want to show you guys how I've been getting out of bed. So I've got two pillows there and then these ones have been angled so I've had my head in here. So like even sitting down I'm like this and then I have to kind of like lay down really slowly. <sighs> okay that's not properly but to get out of bed mum's had to put her hands behind my shoulders and literally like pull me up and this morning was the first time I could do that so that feels fine like it's still a lot of pressure but it feels a lot better than what it did the past few days so literally every time I've had to get up mum has had to help me so that is how I have literally been moving um been moving from the bed to this chair and yeah struggling to shower i've literally had mum helping me in the shower every day just like washing me and stuff because moving my arms i can't move them that far i think she the can't even put her rubbish in the bin <laughs> i think the fat grafting definitely has made it a lot harder because obviously it's affected my legs um and they're like really sensitive. I'll have to show you guys the bruises on my legs because they're pretty intense. But um, yeah, like if I didn't have the fat grafting done, it would have only been like the top half that I would have really struggled with. But yeah, because of the fat grafting, sitting down and moving my legs has made it a lot harder. Um, so yeah, but I think my legs are getting better. They're not as sore um, now and it's just still the pressure around my chest but definitely feeling a lot better today um but yeah i will continue to keep you guys updated and show you guys where we're going for dinner tonight we have a visitor <laughs> tay decided to join us tonight um we literally all got the same i got panini except tay got panini and I got traditional. Mm, good? Not so. Good. good morning, guys. It is Monday, day five, no, day six, post op. And I'm feeling really like off and weird this morning. I don't know if it's because like my neck and my back is out, um, or if it's like the height. Thing in the apartment like mum was feeling the same before she left like really lightheaded and stuff and like when we get downstairs we're fine but oh, I just I don't know like I feel is my nose running what the frick okay now my nose is running I don't know what's going on like I'm trying to eat my breakfast and I just like I just I can't I had a um, anti-nausea tablet because I just feel weird but I tell you what, my neck and my upper back is so tight. Like, if you get a breast augmentation done, be prepared because you have to sleep upright, like on an angle, so an extra pillow for the first like two weeks to help with like the blood flow and stuff. And obviously, like, I had my car accident at the end of 2020. So I'm still, like, recovering from that. And that put my neck out. So, oh, I just need a massage. But, like, how am I supposed to get a massage? I just don't know. I've, I, maybe I'll try and find somewhere. But, like, I need to be obviously sitting. Like, I can't lie down. But I'm feeling 
apart from that, I'm feeling a lot better, like pain wise. Obviously, I haven't really had pain, but like the pressure and stuff, it's definitely dropped. I've stopped taking all my meds, like I've run out of my antibiotics, that was only five days. The blood clotting ones was only for the first three days. Um, the endone was five days. And I think that was it. Yeah, so I just had their anti nausea one because I've had them before, and like when I had my car accident, and they really helped me feel like good. And I was just like, I'm just gonna take them because like it doesn't affect you if you have them. So I just took one anyway, so then I can try and finish my breakfast and get ready for the day because it is Monday and I'm working today, um, and I've got two meetings, so I'm gonna make myself look nice, put makeup on for the first time since last week literally I haven't worn makeup for a whole week um so yeah i am gonna hopefully on my break today go downstairs and either go get like a boost juice and get some like food because i'm leaving tomorrow but i need breakfast and stuff so i just like i want to leave it kind of sucks that i have to stay here until tomorrow because obviously i have my post-op appointment my one week post-op appointment tomorrow and it sucks that I have to stay here until that like I just want to leave especially the weather and stuff like this place is flooding and I'm getting scared that I'm gonna have to stay here because of the floods like Sydney airport is intense like it's so crazy at the moment um I don't know like just Anyway, I'm going to finish off my breakfast. I'm having banana on toast with a bit of sugar on top. No, I'm really getting a bad headache now. Oh. Uh, I'm going to go and get ready. There's something about the way you love keep me close. back on it is the night time now um i am just getting into bed 705 i am such a grandma but i've had i haven't really had like a big day i haven't really done much i obviously worked today as you guys would have seen um i went down on my lunch break to get some lunch and some food and I've just been in my apartment pretty much the whole the whole day. Um, I just didn't really want to do anything too drastic. I wasn't sure how I'd be feeling. Um, I haven't really walked very far. Um, so, yeah. Also, update on my ulcer. It is, like, gone down. It's still kind of there. You can see the outline. But that part of my lip is still numb. Like, it's numb. And it's so strange and I don't know if that's right or not. So I'm just going to like, I go to my one week post-op appointment tomorrow. One week with my new girls. That's gone so fast. Um, So I will chat to the nurse tomorrow about that and see if she has ever heard of it happening before. Um... But yeah, I am going home tomorrow as well, which I'm so excited about. I'm so keen to just get back home and be in my own, like my own home, my own bed, have my car and just have that freedom again. Like when you don't have a car and you're staying somewhere, you just, you just, you feel like you can't do anything, you know, like you have to rely on other people. And especially this whole trip, I've had to rely on my mum so much because I obviously couldn't really do much because of my surgery. So, um, yeah, I will chat to you guys in the morning. I'm just going to enjoy my um, roast almond 
chocolate and watch some Home and Away. Does anyone even watch that anymore? It's on TV. I'm just watching it. Whatever. See you guys in the morning. Good morning, guys. It is day seven post-op. So literally exactly one week ago today, I would have been getting surgery because it is 20 past eight and I went in at eight o'clock. Um, I'm so excited. It's also fly home day. Get me home. I just like, I, as I said, I just can't wait to be back home. The weather here is horrible. It's just stopped raining. Um, but I think it will definitely pick up. Um, it's obviously very cloudy and overcast and everything. I can't wait to get home. I am just going to do a little bit of work for an hour or two this morning. And then I have my post-op appointment at quarter past 10. So yeah. Also, how cute is my little fit this morning? I obviously can't do my hair, so I'm glad mum left me her beanie because I literally could just chuck that on. I'm wearing the rare set again because just so comfy and this puffer jacket is honestly the biggest vibe i've only worn it once and the, the first day that i wore it i got a compliment on it it is from pretty little thing like would you believe it i'm pretty sure it was like 30 dollars too but like it is so cute i just love it goodbye <laughs> realized I didn't finish the end of my vlog actually I did I that was a lie I filmed the day after I got back from Sydney um, and I realized that I didn't really cover everything in that so here I am filming again um, so pretty much I got home really really late um, Tuesday afternoon and I just like I couldn't I couldn't finish off the vlog and then Wednesday I had a really busy day with work and everything and then obviously just the week carried on and now here we are so um, I did a questions box on my Instagram and I got so many um, like questions about my whole um, surgery and everything so I just wanted to quickly jump on and touch on all of those questions answer everything that you guys asked um, and just really help you guys um, if you do want to get a breast augmentation or fat grafting or anything like that, just help you guys understand the process. And yeah, so I feel like I have obviously explained a lot, um, but I will just answer the main questions that came through. Um, and if you guys do have any other questions at all, please leave them in the comments section below and I will get back to each and every single one of you. Um, so someone asked, do you wish you had your breast augmentation done earlier? No, I don't wish that. Um, I feel like I had a lot of time to process and think about getting my breast augmentation done. Um, I am 23 and I first thought about getting it done back when I was like 17. So I've obviously had like six years to really think about it and really make sure that it's something that I actually wanted to do. Um, in which it was and I waited for my boobs to grow and they didn't so okay what size did you go for I want to get mine done and I am scared um, don't be scared like I was not scared I was not nervous nothing like I was just so excited to finally have boobs um, and the main reason for me getting them done was so I could feel like a woman so I could feel feminine I just didn't feel like I was fully without them like I felt really fit and like I loved my physique don't get me wrong but it's just something that I've obviously wanted for years um so yeah I just went and did it so um I got 380 cc's in both I got the Motiva Ergonomics 
dual plane so that is where they do um half under the muscle half not so under the top part of my pec but not under the bottom part of my pec um and then i also got 50 cc's of fat grafting so they put that pretty much 25 cc's on each side of my breast so that would make it technically look like 405 cc's but the implants themselves were 380 cc's um, I'm organizing my own surgery. How are you generally feeling mentally and physically? Um, yeah, so during the whole process, I was just so excited. Um, I was so positive about it. I didn't have any um, negative thoughts. I think going into a surgery like that, um, if you think negatively, then it will kind of like play on your mind. But yeah, I was just really positive about it. I had heard great things about Dr. Wessels and the team at One Cosmetics. So um, yeah, I knew I could trust them. Why did you have a breast augmentation? So I think I've pretty much covered that. Um, why did you feel the need to get them done? I feel like all fitness competitors want them. So yeah, again, um, personal preference. I have wanted them done for six years. So, um, just because you compete doesn't mean that you need to have a breast augmentation. Doesn't mean that you need to have boobs. Like you don't need to have anything to compete. You just need to be yourself. Um, but yeah, it's something that I've wanted for years. So Post-op, did you feel more discomfort from the breast augmentation or the fat grafting? So this is actually a really good question. Um, I guess it's different, different discomfort levels. Um, with the fat grafting, because it was on my inner thighs, um, it was just tender. It wasn't sore. Um, it just obviously felt quite tender and like something was taken. <laughs> um yeah and now they're just very bruised um i'll actually see if i can show you guys the bruising has gone down a bit but that's the bruising and that's this like they took it from there um so they've obviously shoved the tube this right leg is much worse than my left leg it's obviously not a big thing but the same there so i guess um Getting the fat grafting done as well, it obviously caused my lower body to be tender for a few days, whereas if you just got the breast augmentation done, it would have just affected your upper body, but it obviously affected my lower body as well. So, you know, bending over and putting on tights because you have to wear Spanx for six weeks with your fat grafting. I just opted for tights because they're obviously compression as well. So, um... I think, yeah, different different kind of levels of discomfort with the breast augmentation. It's a lot more tightness and pressure. Um, and you obviously can't move your arms as much. And then, yeah, so different, different. Um, how did you decide which size implant to go for? So I originally tried on, so on the day before my post-op appointment, um, on the day before my surgery so at my pre-op appointment i went in and saw dr wessels and we tried on the compression bra and he put in the implants so i tried on 340 cc's i also tried on 360 and i tried on 380 and when you try them on there's really not much difference between the sizes to be honest um, i'm pretty sure it's like a 20 cent piece or something he said so um I think like I just liked the look of the 380. I didn't want to get them done and you not be able to notice them. Um, but then I also didn't want to get them done and them to be like too over the top. So he did say the bigger I go because of the shape of my chest, the better it's going to look. Um, so yeah, I just decided with 380 and I knew that it would look totally different when they were actually done. Like when my breast when the surgery was done because it's just like so different like you can't even tell what they would look like but you can obviously see the side profile and how much they'll stick out but again like it looks totally different to after you get them done oh and also he did the 3d vectra scan um which was very helpful as well so he showed me what my boobs would look like after the surgery and i just loved the look of them and i was like is that 380 and he goes yeah and I was like okay yep done like that's that's what I want um okay where did you transfer from slash two for the fat grafting so yeah it was from my inner thighs and they put it in the um center of my boobs in my cleavage to give me a tighter cleavage because my chest the 
the um, sternum actually sits like this. If I was to lay down, my chest is kind of like that. So if they just put the implants on, they would just be sitting there. Whereas I wanted the fat grafting, so it's kind of made the cleavage a bit tighter and made them look, you know, better. What day post-op do you think you were feeling normal-ish? Um, I guess, like, if you guys saw throughout my whole vlog, like, I was pretty normal. Um, the pain meds didn't knock me out. They didn't make me feel drowsy. I have a really, like, high tolerance to everything. Um, so I think a lot of people actually do get drowsy and do fall asleep from endone and you know strong painkillers but they didn't knock me out at all um even the valium like it didn't make me tired or anything like it just got to 8 30 9 o'clock which is my normal bedtime and i was like okay i'm going to bed um <laughs> so i guess you could probably say maybe like day five day six was when i was actually like up and able to walk and it wasn't as much pressure as it was on day one to four um but again, like I was working on day three post-op. So <laughs> I don't know. I think everyone's different. I obviously went into the surgery not expecting how I was going to feel or what I was going to be capable of doing after. And I think that's how you kind of have to go into it. Everyone's different. Everyone's pain threshold's different. Everyone's going to respond differently to the surgery. So um, yeah, that was just my personal experience. I know friends that have been like, bedridden for the first week um and I was you know walking straight after my surgery so yeah I, I don't know if that helps or answers your question but yeah um how long after your surgery did you wait to have sex to avoid pain I am single I don't have a partner I'm not seeing anyone so I can't really answer that question because I will not be sleeping with anyone anytime soon that's for sure so they were pretty much like the main questions. I feel like I've answered a lot and I feel like I've shown you guys a lot and talked you through the whole process um, from start to finish. But if you guys do have any more questions at all, please comment below. I will reply and answer your questions if I've missed anything. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I feel like I really wanted to do it because there's not much out there. I don't think that is really as informative. Um, but also, also update while I remember, it's fully gone. It's just still a bit numb on my lip, which is really strange. Um, but hopefully that will go. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I will be aiming to upload a new vlog every week and be really informative and share everything with you guys. Um, but my boobies feel amazing. I went for a walk today and I did like a 30 minute, 40 minute walk. And it's like day 10 post-op. So... I feel amazing. Um, I hope you guys have an amazing weekend, an amazing day, an amazing night, wherever you're watching this from, whatever day you're watching this from, go and smash the day or have an incredible night, like I said. Um, but thank you for watching and yeah, can't wait to see you guys in my next vlog.